Good evening, everyone. We did it. We filled up that Jaspi six box 2018-19 Panini Prism Basketball Mixer. Pick your team number two from jaspyscasebreaks.com where we're giving away giving away the Dallas Mavericks if you buy the requisite uh, number of teams right here. So this break involves uh, two boxes of, uh, they're all 18-19 Prism Basketball, two boxes of the Hobby Edition, two boxes of the Super Value Rack Pack Edition, which I've never seen, and the Retail Edition, which we have personal boxes of on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So if you bought the requisite number of teams, you'll get a shot. Let's move over to this screen right here. These people bought the requisite number of teams. Let's copy that list. Let's paste it here. Let's randomize that list. Four and a six, ten times. And the name on top, we'll get the super expensive Dallas Mavericks after ten times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After ten times, did I do it right? I did. Four and a six, ten. I can count. After ten times, Paul Nixon, the coach Paul Nixon, look at this, your name ceremoniously going into the spreadsheet right here. And we'll put a little rooftop or a carrot, as they call it, next to your name. So you know you got that in this, uh, in this randomizer, in this randomizer especial. There you go. I don't want to print that other list. How about I just print the selection on there? Bam. Bam. Get some basketball on TV. Whoa, double overtime. Sacramento 126, Charlotte 124. Three minutes left in, in, in the second overtime. All right. Good luck, everyone. Thursday the, thir Thursday the 13th in December, six box. Pick your team number two. It's your Prism Basketball Mixer. And there you go. And John Lucas, you were asking earlier, uh, yeah, sometimes we'll do full random team breaks where we just average out the price of all the teams and then, um, and then randomize them all. But the picking of their team seems to be a little more popular here. We're going to start with retail. We'll move to the rack pack, and then we'll finish off with the two hobby boxes back here. Good luck, everybody. I could use a knife. That's right. Uh, are you asking me, bud, how many words I type per minute? I think I could type probably over 100 words per minute, but with like 80% accuracy. I could probably do like 80 or 90 with 100% accuracy. Maybe a little bit more. All right, retail box number one. Um, let me s switch screens here and tell you while I'm opening packs. In the retail, just as a reminder, in retail boxes, you can get the green, non-numbered green parallels. That's unique to the retail. And I think the there's one more. Oh, yeah. You can get a pink pulsar out of these retail boxes, number to 42. I don't, I'm not sure what these are all about, but... Anyone know about these Super Value Rack Packs? I don't know if Nick Jaspi's listening right now. If Nick Jaspi can tell us. All right, Nick Stanley saying they had they're the ones with the red, white, and blue parallels. Oh, okay. Well, that'd be very cool. Oh yeah, that's under the I'm trying I'm looking at cardboardconnection.com right now. 
So the red, white, and blue comes from parentheses multi-pack. So I guess that's where the red, white, and blue comes from. All right. A lot of different prison basketball. Well, good luck, everybody. I, I keep harping on this, and I'll be harping on this all the time. Is uh, There's a lot of value in basketball. I know our, uh, listen, over the years, we've been doing this for a while. Over the years, our, um, our audience has mostly been baseball, basketball, or uh, baseball, football, that is. And we, obviously, we've done pretty well doing that. But we're trying to expand into getting more people in on the basketball. We've always done some basketball here, but it's never been our biggest seller. I'm going to try to focus a little bit more on the basketball, especially since the last, last year's rookie class has been so good. This year's rookie class has been so intriguing. Um, and there's just a lot of secondary market value in this as well. You know, if you get like the, this, these silver parallels, right? You can see how the difference right there. If you get like one of the top rookies in the silver parallel, sometimes that could sell better than, you know, some of their, uh, some of their autographs, which is the crazy part. I think I went through these already. All right. Um. Vet base won't ship in this, as most of you know, but everything else will. We'll randomize this to one person in the break. And if there's more than more than if there's more points that pop out, then we'll um, we will put them uh, randomize them as one lot. <coughs> DeAndre Jordan, Michael Carter Williams, Derek Rose, Red Wave, oh, I'll bet that takes place of a of the hit. Zaire Smith Silver, I'll actually set one of those aside. Frank the Tank Minsky Silver. All right, another box. Yeah, Gilo's like, what is it about those silvers that make them so valuable? You sold a Jason Tatum that you got out of a blaster, not knowing how to had a fortune in my hands. What did you what did you end up selling it for? Were you were you, did your jaw just drop? I don't know what it is, but traditionally in uh, in prism in in prism products, those, those silvers have been pretty popular. Same with like Donner's Panini Donner's Optic Basketball. Remember that year, the year uh, Ben Simmons was a rookie, he wasn't even, he didn't have ink in the product because his autos are exclusive to Upper Deck. So, so his silvers were, and of his silvers and of other players too, of the other top rookies, were selling like hotcakes. I don't know. Just, people just like them, I guess. They're not, they're not super common. You know, that also helps. Supply and demand, classic supply and demand situation. But they've just kind of grown to be pretty popular in the hobby. I think a lot of people, well, A, Prism is a great product for, you know, as far as basketball goes. Like Contenders, Prism, are, they're, they're great products for like, the uh, for rookies, you know, for the rookies that you want to buy, grade, you know, maybe you could even consider them investments, especially in basketball. So, right, yeah. So your silver out of the blaster box, two fifty, pro probably be more. I guess depending on when you got it. If it was like during the Jason Tatum heyday, probably a little bit more than that. Right, Boombox says, "Hey, I remember his NT base card was selling for twelve hundred plus dollars." The Ben Simmons. All right, how much does Embiid go for? I guess if you had a silver Embiid from his rookie year, I'm not, I'm actually not sure. That's an interesting question. Probably, probably pretty decently. 
Not at the time, though. It's usually hottest at the time of release. I guess there may be a little bit of a revival now. There's Jamal Murray. Like Jamal Murray, his first year, meh, but like his second year and then this year, he's been pretty, pretty great player. It's Rajon Rondo, Tobias Harris. So these greens aren't numbered. That's why I'm kind of breezing by those, but they will shit. And Trey Lyles, autograph. Denver Nuggets on the board with the first auto. That would be Darren McKenzie, DMAC. I want to say even more, Boombox. No, Ben Simmons, I think NT base cards must have gone for thousands. And I think his immaculate base cards from 16, 17 immaculate basketball were going for like 1,200. Or I don't know, maybe it's just, maybe I'm just revisionist history now, but I thought it was a lot more. No, maybe you're right. I don't remember. Zach Levine, former UCLA man. Jonas Valachunas. Dwayne Dedman. Hornets are still. Wait, this is previously recorded. When was when was it? Was this last night's game? There's Dennis Smith Jr. Kyle Kuzma for my Lakers and Gary Trent Jr. Alright. Now, Super Value Rack Pack. Oh, I see. All right, that makes sense. They literally go on the rack. What are in those white packs? Is that, are those the red, white, and blue ones? I don't know. I'm setting I'm setting those aside. Um, no, no worries, John Lucas. Not at all. We all we everyone had to start somewhere. Um, when everyone knows a guy like Simmons coming in the league, that helps. But if you pull an unknown rookie and he takes off, does he go up in price down the line? Yes. Yeah, any rookie card, right? Because it's his first, you know, it's it's that player's first card. So, so yes, it generally will. Right, yes. That G, G, G Lo, that's a great example. Donovan Mitchell last season, right? First half of the season was kind of like, eh. You know, all right. You know, he was kind of picked kind of high. Or, no, not even high. Maybe 15th after Luke Kennard for the for that. But I think people were kind of like, all right, well, let's see what Donovan Mitchell does. I don't think we were charging very much for the Jazz at the time, the beginning of the, beginning of the season. But as the season went on, he started getting, getting a little bit better. And then he really just exploded in the playoffs. And those later season basketball product, that's when the price of the Jazz really started skyrocketing. But... I, we already we ch we charged. I think f we already we, the Chiefs were the one of the more expensive teams in basketball, or in basketball in football. Gilo, I think since from the get go. But yeah, his card started really skyrocketing once once he got the starting job this season when Alex Smith was shipped off.
this game was from last night. Um, final scores in basketball tonight. My Lakers fell to the Houston Rockets, 126 to 111. I was on the Lakers. They were heavy dogs. And I guess Vegas was right as usual. I don't know why I took the Lakers. There was a little value there. I did my research. Um, I completely whiffed. On, I thought I was a lot closer on the Clippers. I completely whiffed on them. They went. Um, they they went to San Antonio. Spurs beat them 125 to 87. They got blown out. I was definitely not close there. I was on Orlando. They won. They beat the uh, Bulls 97 to 91. I've been taking money lines on the on the basketball, which is not really the traditional way to go, but that's what I've been doing lately. Been a little more successful there. And the TNT game right now is uh, Dallas at Phoenix. Dallas on the second night of a back-to-back. -back, home and then road to Phoenix. Phoenix are up 93-83. And I was considering taking the Phoenix Suns. Hindsight is 20-20, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes left. So I should change this from the game that was yesterday. I thought this game was tonight. Let's see. TNT. There it is. All right, now back to our regularly scheduled break. There you go. Two minutes left. Phoenix up 95-83. Phoenix will get their fifth win if they can hang on. I should have taken the Suns. What a mistake. Hindsight is 20-20. Uh, that's like that's like I'm being that guy, you guys. I'm being the guy that said, "Oh, once the big hit comes out of here, I totally had that team in my cart." Oh, I'm telling you guys, I had that team in my cart. I should have. But yeah, at the end of the day, John Lucas, yes, you never know what you're holding on to. You know, now a lot of the times, you know, the higher draft picks are higher draft picks for a reason. You know, and they'll they'll end up being more likely to be stars over you know the lower draft picks or the randos, but it's, but at the end of the day, you never know. This is part of the fun of it. It's part of why we collect. Michael G. saying you're still sitting on that Mahomes NT Collegiate Auto book out of 25. Oh, the value of that's just going up and up and up. Michael G. You're welcome again. Yeah, getting into basketball, John Luke, is I would say it's worth it. There's still some value in those Pokemon cards, too, like the really short-printed ones. All right, there's Marvin Bagley and V. Malihook, silver rookie. Kevin Knox, silver rookie. There's Joel Embiid, silver, non-rookie. Let's see, these silvers, I wouldn't be surprised if they had more value than their base auto counterparts. Miles Bridges, silver. Should we save a Mo Wagner rookie? Sure. The Laker Joe Mojo. Yeah, the Tom, Tom Brady is actually kind of a funny story because, um, because his his contenders card is legendary. His contender's football card back in the day. His autograph of that. Now, I don't know how many there were. Probably not very many because I don't think anyone really thought he'd do anything. So classic supply and demand. Then he becomes one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. So the value of that Tom Brady contender's uh, autograph, even ungraded, I think, is can can be thousands and thousands of dollars. Should have taken the I should have taken the Suns tonight, folks. What a mistake! Should have taken this guy. 
Dallas Mavericks were on, on the second night. This was their second night. A home road back-to-back. -back. You know Phoenix are hungry for a win. This is only their fifth win of the season. The odds were really good. Their Suns were heavy underdogs, so there's some value there. Come on, Joe. It would been better than picking the Lakers. What's up, Andy? Andy's saying it's astronomical. How much do you think, Andy? I think a well-graded Tom Brady rookie autograph from that Contenders football or whatever that was back in the day. I could, I, I, I would say could, could, could lean close to ten thousand dollars, maybe more. Oh, these are the these are the red, white, and blue. These look like this doesn't look like red, white, and blue. They look like uh, what you call it? The edge of a uh, the old airmail. Those of you remember sending letters internationally, little international airmail type thing. All of these will ship, of course. They're inserts. So, yeah, <laughs> or a barbershop, maybe? All right, okay. Ray's thinking barbershop. I thought, I thought airmail. Either one is acceptable. Where do they, where do they sell these? Kind of want one of these. All right, we'll set aside some of the some of the bigger name rookies, but these are all going to ship. Josh Hart, by the way, not a rookie. That's a mistake. I think people are less forgiving of the error these days. Back in the day, you know, back in the day, an error card, people would be like, ooh, an error card. The value would be great on that. All right, one more of those. I'll set Trey Lyles aside over here as well. All right, good luck, everybody. A little bit harder to open. Nice, John Lucas. Where, where did you get? I don't know where I got this cap. I think from a hatter in San Diego. That's where I got this hat. Although I ordered it online. It's not like I went in and was like, I'd like a custom hat, sir, to the, to the hatter. All right. Good luck, boys and girls.
open those up last. You got you got you got yours downtown where you live. A place called Tom Foolery. What else do they have there? Sounds like a laugh. Yeah, so that's a pretty good. I think mine was about that price too. By a number, Andy Garner coming back with a little research. Uh, BGS nine five ten auto on the Tom Brady contenders rookie auto guy was asking one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, not ten thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen. One hundred and fifty thousand dollars, a little off. I guess whether he gets it or not is a different question, but. All right, boys and girls, almost done here. We've got this right here, and then we've got two of those hobby boxes, two autographs, and 22 prisms per box on that one. And then, I don't know, it should take me another 15, 20 minutes or so. I guess this took a little bit longer than I thought. Um, but once we're done, we'll have time to do another break, if you'd like. So here's the deal. So by the time I'm done with this break, that'll probably bring us to the bottom of the hour wherever you are in the world, and by the time I put this break away and everything. Um, and I'll do my store closing thing here at jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll, uh, I'll put away this break, print out the shipping labels or your name tag labels that we put on the cards after they're sorted out. We'll print those out, put the break away, put out, throw away some trash, break down some boxes and whatnot, clean things up a little bit here, work on my break log and all that sort of thing. Now, in that span of time which will probably take me to the top of the hour. In that span of time, if we fill up that, uh, that TriStar break, I'll leave the TriStar stuff. If we fill up that break, I'll do it. It's like a 10 minute break, so it'll be a lot of fun. So I'm glad we got this done. I definitely want to do this. But if you want to squeeze in another TriStar break before we call it night, we can definitely do it. All right, good luck everybody. There's Zach Randolph, the mailman, Carl Malone. Got Brandon Knight for the Suns Green Parallel. I'll save one of those Luka Doncic's for Paul Nixon. And we're looking for a silver one, though. I don't think these really go for that much, but silver ones, that's where the, that's where the dollar dollar bills are. Uh, oh, more research from John Lucas. John Lucas saying, ah, so a Tom Brady sold for $13,000 on eBay. Was, it, was that one graded by chance? That'd be interesting to see. That was a 9-10. I wonder if that half a point would make that much of a difference. It could. Makes a difference on those Jordans. From like 86 Fleer basketball, I think. There it is. The silver Luka Doncic. There it is. Now Dallas, Dallas Mavericks struggled today. Let's see how Luka Doncic did tonight. He played 31 minutes, 13 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists. Not bad. I think he's started the season hot, has continued to be solid. This guy should be the, the real deal holy field. Someone look that up. I still think, I still think they're going for, going for like 100 bucks a pop, like ungraded. Two, oh, 250 200 bucks a pop then. Andy's saying one sold today for 250 on that Luka Doncic. There you go. There you go, Paul Nixon. 
See, we do these late night breaks. Paul wakes up and he sees the, he's on the East Coast. Paul wakes up and Ohio time and is just like, wait a second. You guys end up doing this break. Wake up to that. Now at this stage, the prism, I guess, has been out for a minute or two. At this stage, at this stage, I would, um, oh, I forgot about these. I would start thinking about grading these, you know what I mean? So I feel like there's been a decent amount of, uh, there's been a decent amount of probably silver Luka Doncic's that has been popped out all over the world, over the thousands of boxes that may have been opened around the world. There may be some a decent amount hitting eBay at some point, but but I think at this point it may be worth grading. Uh, we don't, Nick Stan. We don't really do a lot of personal boxes. We do have the retail version of Prison Basketball, the green boxes. We've got that available for a limited time as personals, if people are interested in that. But that's not really a big thing that we do. Maybe one day when we when we are expanding the store, and with that we may try to expand and get some a couple more breakers here in the store, and that may lead us to having the option to do, you know, stuff like that. Um, if you're seeing the one that's eight dollars and ninety nine cents, that's probably just the regular, the base version. It's probably this non shiny version. It'll say on the back too. So the base version doesn't say anything right there. The silver version will have, or any parallel will have prism on the back. That's the big difference. That's the, your $200 difference right there. Nice Colin Sexton, too. It's for Rory and the Cavs. There's a bug there. The ant. What's an ant doing there? All right. Trey Young, red, white, and blue, for Taylor and the Hawks. That has to go for a decent amount, too. This red, white, and blues are look great. <coughs> All right. Excuse me. Two hobby boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Then we are donezos for the night, maybe? I don't know. We still have time to do another break, to squeeze another quick break. I'm thinking that TriStar break for 20 bucks a pop is probably our best bet. If not, if that's not your thing, ladies and gentlemen, there are a handful of teams left in each of those uh, Bowman draft breaks that drop tomorrow. Let's knock those teams out tonight so we can hit the ground running tomorrow. If you see your team now that you like, I would get it because we're going to do a big social media push tomorrow. I'm sure there'll be a big email blast about it tomorrow. So it'd be a good idea for you, ladies and gentlemen, to get your teams now while supplies last. Um, I like them too, Gilo. I like the, whatever you want to call it. It looks like a, looks like the airmail trim on the old international airmail envelopes back in the day. I like that vibe. I guess Ray was saying earlier, it looks like a, kind of like a barbershop hole. I'm fine with that too. I think that looks cool. I like them too. They're not super common either. They're only in, in that one set. Guess I have to go to the go to some retail store and find them. All right. Good luck, boys and girls. JJ Reddick. Behind Jacob Evans is just that. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be something. Jacob Evans red to 299. That goes to Big Boys 007 and the Warriors. Warriors come out to play. 
Those red waves aren't numbered. That's why I've been kind of breezing by those. These ones aren't numbered either. There's Giannis. There's AI Silver and Hersey Hawkins. One out of 25. Mojo Refractor for the 76ers. That goes to Bud with the Sixers. <laughs> start breaking it. You want me to start breaking uh, the Bowman draft at 12.01? Out of 149, Patty Mills. Good thing we don't even have it yet. I totally want to, Mark. I would totally do it, but we just got it. not getting them shipped in until tomorrow. Dang. Sorry. Although, you know what? It's actually kind of funny. You should mention that uh, boombox. There is one. I don't want to jinx it. We're probably not going to get this shot, but there is one one uh, expanded location that we are looking at that uh, that has like a full kitchen and like two showers there and like a patio and like barbecue spots and everything. Blah blah blah. And um, and I was like, oh man, I could start doing. We can do a twenty four hour break there. We can just do something for like where we do like a marathon break or something like that. Just go over 24 hours because we can still eat and sleep and shower there. So it'd be fine. All right. There's Chandler Hutchison to 299. Now if we had, we, if we had those amenities here, that goes to the Bulls. Could do midnight. Although I don't think the manufacturers ever allow those midnight breaks to really happen. I think they reserve those for like, ooh, nice. Look at this. Joel Embiid, signatures for Bud and the Sixers. Here we are, just chit-chatting. And all of a sudden, next thing you know, a wild Joel Embiid has appeared. We've got to use our, 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 our uh, use a, maybe some sort of pokey berry, maybe an ultra ball, spin that, capture a Joel Embiid, nice. Former teammate Robert Covington. That'll still go to you, though. Billy Preston for the Cavs. Clint Capella to 75. Robin Lopez to 199. Brooks brother. Twin brother and KG at the end. One more box to go. Nice. Here we are just minding our own business and then boom. Cody West is here. Yeah, see, I, the men are released leasing. I was saying, I don't think they actually authorize that un, uh, unless it's for actual, um, like, unless unless the shop was doing in-store buys, which I don't. We don't have the. Uh, we don't have the. Uh, most of our audience is out there, all over the world. Ironically, not in our backyard. Well, we got to work on that, but well, if we had a bigger a bigger footprint here for that sort of thing, then I think we would do a midnight release. I think they would allow you to do it, but not on. I don't think they need to do it online. I'm not sure. There's a lot of weird regulations out there, but we'll have to find out one day. Maybe they'll change. Maybe they've changed their mind. I don't know, there, there must be some breakers out there that do midnight releases, right? I mean, is anyone breaking, any East Coast breakers breaking now? You know what I mean? The Bowman draft now? Maybe. I think most people don't. I guess most people won't even get it in their, in their shops until tomorrow anyway. A Jaspi exclusive product. We did do one, Cody West. Remember all those Fanatics authentic jerseys? That was a Jaspi exclusive product, and we did we did whatever the f we wanted with that. That was a lot of fun. We'll have a, we'll have another product like that in the near future. Jaspi'scasebreaks.com. It's Dennis Johnson, Red Wave. 
Paul Millsap, Giannis. We got Milos Teodosic out of 199 for the clip show. Taylor with the Clippers. Yeah, I feel like that must be right, um, G Lo. Westbrook and Omari Spellman, Atlanta Hawks. Taylor with the Atlanta Hawks. Out of 299, KCP, who's been involved in some trade rumors recently. Marshawn Brooks, silver. Nikola Jokic, fireworks, silver. And Ben Simmons, look at this. Eight out of 49. It's a nice parallel. I think this may have a little more value than you may think, bud. Just because his autographs are exclusive to Upper Deck, and so therefore parallels, even his non-rookie years parallels could be, could go for a little more than you might think. Than maybe some other second or third year players, you know. Out of one forty-nine, Milos Teodosic for the clip show. Go hard or go home. Demar Derozan. Ben Simmons, Red Wave. And behind Marcus All is Andrew Wiggins. 8 out of 25, Mojo Auto. He actually had a pretty good night the other night when I think the Timberwolves put, like, put up like 140 points or something like that a couple nights ago. Last night. Nice one for the Timberwolves. Chris Johnston with that. It's Jaron Jackson Jr. Hyper parallel. DeAndre Jordan Silver. Chris Paul. We pulled a couple of those already. Those Lucas. They'll still ship to you though. Dallas. Robert Williams the third. Red. To 299 for the C's. Clay Thompson, Red Wave. Bradley Beal at the end. And a randomizer to do right here. But a nice break overall, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining this fun little mixer we got here. Appreciate it. So let's see who's going to get the Constellation 150 points. I don't know why I'm top loading. And a bonus top loader. Let's go get a blank list. There it is. Let's get everyone's name again. Let's randomize that list. Eight times. Five and a three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and... Eighth and final time. The name on top after eight times? Darren McKenzie. DMAC, little consolation prize for you. Thanks for joining the break, man. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Appreciate everybody getting into that prison basketball. I'm telling you, the value of this is incredible. So keep looking back on jazbeescasebreaks.com for more, and we'll break with you next time.